So I got this question in my YouTube channel recently that says, how do I change a lot number when I move the inventory from one location to the other? So there's actually two questions combined into one. One of the questions is, how do I transfer inventory? So I'm gonna show you that. And how do I change uh, lot numbers once I transfer the inventory? So I'm gonna show you how to change lot numbers. It's actually a trick, it's a workaround trick but let's start with um, transferring locations. So first within the context of understanding that in QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum Edition, you can have multiple inventory locations. So the way you turn that on, just in case you don't have that turned on, you go to edit preferences, then you go into items and inventory, then company preferences, and then advanced inventory settings. If you don't see advanced inventory settings turned on or available for you to turn on, is because you probably don't have QuickBooks Enterprise Platinum installed. So this doesn't work in any other version. So here in the first tab, it says multiple inventory sites. That's turned on. So now officially QuickBooks can manage inventory in multiple locations. Back into the list menu, one of the options here will be inventory site list. So I'm gonna click on that. And let's say for example, that I have two in inventory locations, the main warehouse, I'm gonna create another one called a remote warehouse or something like that. So I'm going to call this one remote warehouse one. So let's assume that I have my main warehouse and a remote warehouse number one. So how do I transfer inventory from the main warehouse to warehouse number one? Before we do that, let's check our inventory levels real quick through reports. So I'm going to go to reports, inventory, reports, and then I'm going to click on inventory stock status by site. Okay, so we'll click on that. And then depending on which site I have selected, so I got my main warehouse, or I can select remote warehouse, I can see what's on each location. Now, just to uh, simplify things, I'm gonna open this window here, and I'm gonna make this inventory of remote warehouse one. I'm gonna pull the exact same report, inventory, inventory stock status by site, and I'm gonna make this one my main warehouse. So we'll have this one here on the left side, and uh, like, let's get rid of some of these columns. Uh, just so we are looking at a lot less information should be make it uh, much easier to read in this case, right? So, um, so I got my right report on the right is warehouse one, my report on the left is warehouse two. So how do I do a transfer? Let's say I want to transfer uh, some 32 ounce chocolate milk, milk cartons and some 64 ounce chocolate milk cartons from main warehouse to warehouse one. So I simply go into inventory and I click on transfer inventory. Then I'm gonna select the date of the transfer. I'm gonna select the inventory that I'm transferring from. So that would be main warehouse. And I'll let me just maximize this real quick over here. And then I'm gonna, uh, let's expand this a little bit, make it a bit easier to read. These screens become tough to read. Uh, and then I'm gonna transfer to uh, remote warehouse. So I'm putting the from and to locations over here. Then under item, I typically click on the drop down menu, select the items that I'm transferring. So let's say I'm gonna transfer from the 32 ounce uh, chocolate milk carton, I'm gonna pick the lot number because I happen to have multiple lot numbers here. Turn, select the lot number there, and I'm gonna transfer, let's say 500 units. Then I'm gonna select uh, the second line here. Let's say it's gonna be the 64 ounce milk carton, and I'm gonna select the lot number, let's say it's from this lot number, and I will transfer 200 units. So that's a simple transfer. Now I can't change the lot number here. That's gonna be a different lesson, second part of this video, I'll explain the workaround for changing lot numbers. So at the moment, I'm just doing the transfer from warehouse A to warehouse B. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and close. And now let's look at the two reports here. Now I see my inventory on my left side here changed for uh, my main warehouse. And then I actually have stock on my second warehouse. So that's a simple inventory transfer. Now changing lot numbers gets a bit tricky. Let's let me go ahead and close these. And let's talk about lot numbers for a second. So let's say I'm going to go into inventory and inventory center. Then I'm going to maximize the screen. And then I'm going to click on let's say this item here called 32 ounce chocolate milk carton. And I'm going to uh, bring this window down a little bit. And I'm going to click here where it says quantity on hand by lot number. Once I click on that, you will notice uh, what what products I have in stock, where they are, and what lot numbers they belong to. So the lot numbers are independent, completely independent from inventory locations, and it really 
doesn't have anything to do with the other, whether they're on location A or location B on what the lot number is. But the underlying question here was, how do I change the lot number? Now, in QuickBooks, you can't change lot numbers. Once lot numbers are set, they're set, and that's it. However, there's a workaround that you can use. The workaround that I choose is called a zero balance check. So what we do is we'll create a check. I'm gonna go into banking and click on write check. And yeah, I know this sounds weird. And then on their bank account, I'm just gonna create a bank account here called lot transfer. Yep, it is a bank account called lot transfer. And just to simplify things, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit click save and close. And I'm gonna, just gonna copy the text here just in case I need it. And then I'm gonna go into my chart of accounts and make that bank account inactive just because I don't really want to, by mistake, enter something in that bank account. But it is used here, so that's fine. Okay, and I'm gonna select the date of that lot number change or lot number transfer. And again, this is a workaround. And then under payee, I don't need to do anything. Under items, what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna select the items that I wanna transfer from one lot to the other. So under item in this case, I'm gonna select, let's say from the 32 ounce chocolate milk carton, I'll pick that. And then let's say I wanna change 50 of them and give them a different lot number. So when you, when you do a check, anything that's a positive is bringing new inventory and anything that's a negative is getting rid of inventory. So in this case, I wanna bring new inventory with a new lot number and reduce it from the old lot number. So, so let's say, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and do negative 50. So I'm gonna get rid of some inventory in this case. And uh, I'm gonna leave the cost as is. I'm not gonna change, change that. I'm gonna select the site where the inventory is. So let's say this is in the remote warehouse. And then, uh, then I'm gonna click on the last column here, this lot number. I'm gonna use the lot number that uh, the chocolate milk carton in this case is using, which is 2019 hyphen, actually, let me check that again. Let's go to that window again, because uh, I don't remember the lot number that it was. Um, so let's say it's, I'm gonna transfer it from 2019 hyphen 11 hyphen 30, that's what it is. Okay, so I'll do 2019 hyphen 11 hyphen 30. So this way I get rid of the inventory. So I'm basically getting rid of that inventory and then I'm gonna bring new ones. So same, same exact item, positive 50, do the same uh, cost, I don't wanna change the cost, pick the same warehouse, and then give this the new lot number, whatever the lot number happens to be. So let's say this is 1205, okay? I said then by doing this, the check should be a net of zero, shouldn't affect my financials in any way, that will get rid of the inventory and bring it in. So when I click on save, okay, I moved 50 units. When I go back into my inventory center, and then click on quantity on hand by lot number again, Notice that now I have two different uh, lots, right? And then I moved 50 from one to the other. Now that check is one option uh, that might be useful. A different option would be with a sales receipt. You just have to have different directions on the negatives and the positives. You can do this exact same thing this way. So I'm gonna go into customers and do enter sales receipts. And then here under customer job, I'm just gonna call it lot transfer. Transfer, there you go. And then I'm gonna go into item, pick the same item. Let's say we got the 32 ounce chocolate milk carton. I'm gonna select the site where I'm gonna get rid of these units. So let's say it's from the remote warehouse. And then I'm gonna select the lot number that I wanna get rid of. So let's say I wanna get rid of uh, from the same lot number, the 1130 lot, I wanna get rid of, let's say 20 of them, right? So in this case, the positive number means get rid of, and the negative number means bring in sales receipts are different than checks from this perspective. So then I'll bring in the second line item there, same uh, warehouse location. In this, this case will be negative 20. Again, I'm bringing that in. And let's say I wanna transfer these to, let's say a different lot number here called 1207. Uh, so again, it's not customary, um, it, it's not customary that we, uh, that we actually move things across lot numbers, lot numbers, should be pretty set in stone. But to answer that original question, if you wanted to move things across lot numbers or give items essentially a new lot number, that's how it will work. Now, obviously, if you got sales tax issues, make sure that these are not uh, taxable and then the net amount should essentially be zero so it doesn't account for 
um, any accounting event really because it's just a transfer. So I'll go ahead and click on save and close. And then I go back into my inventory center just to check the lot numbers real quick. And then I click on quantity on hand by lot number. And there you go. You see the further expansions of those lot numbers. So hopefully that answered your question, uh, Shabazz. You know, how do you do the inventory transfer and move items across lot numbers?